All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video, and today we're going to be putting five nerfed champions up against five buffed coppers. So the nerfs for our champions are pistol only. Apparently, they're team killing, but they're supposed to shoot each other down to 50 HP, and they can't use any operator abilities. So second secondary utility is fine. Things like claymores, um, C4s, grenades, that sort of thing is going to be completely fine but no operator primary utility. So no Ash rushing in, no Iana cloning, no Zofia stunning, anything like that. The buff for our coppers, they're gonna have access to all of the operator utilities. They're gonna be playing like it's normal, but they're also gonna have 200 HP. So they're effectively going to be facing against five champs that are on practically one HP. And we see right now, Someone is playing Doc for the Copper team, so the amount of HP that they have is truly absurd. And you can see that X Cap has already been taken out by his teammates as it looks like they were trying to bring him down to 50 HP and they just completely took him out. But here come the champs starting things off quickly. Burr gonna grab the first kill of the game on a Rex with that pistol. Remember, we're doing pistol only here with the champs, so they have to stick to that. Secondary Utility gonna come out here from Vengeance. He's gonna try to nade away the barbed wire and try to get any kills on the player playing on Bolo. That'll be Torture, who's inside of Game Room right now. But we are actually seeing a rotate up through the white stairs here. Zofia tried to make their way up through the stairs. They're gonna start droning and try to gain some information on exactly where the copper players are at. And we're gonna have Burr pushing through big window. So it looks like they're gonna be trying to do some sort of a white slash big window take. But Torch is gonna grab a kill onto Kitten. And Vengeance goes down as well as the dock player grabs a kill. That's gonna leave Burr and Zofia all on their own. Zofia on the top of white stairs right now, trying to grab a kill and he's gonna do exactly that. A nice clean one tap and that will be Ella going down. Burr now repelling on the game's window. He's trying to find this pick onto Torture who's inside of games, but he's not gonna let it happen. And the Doc Stim Pistol will come out and heal Torture back up to not 100 or something HP to 200 HP right now. And he's gonna be trying to fight Burr still, who's only on about 50 and Burr is able to grab that kill and he's going for a second as well. He's gonna light up Doc and force him to re-stim back up to 200 HP. Burr is still just trying to hold his position down right now. Neither of our champs have the diffuser. So this is going to be a little tricky to win here, especially with only 25 seconds left. Rihi inside of kids right now, trying to stop the Burr from pushing in through attic, but Doc has got it. He will take him out. Our last champ remaining on the top of white stairs right now. He's trying to find his way into sight, but the Elamine is going to completely blinds him there and the smoke will peak from the kids rotate here and take him out and the coppers are going to win round number one although it was fairly close by the way if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys follow all of the champs with their socials linked down below in the description and if you guys would like to play with me tonight in ranked consider joining six shot academy while you're down there all right here we go looks like we're going to see our nerfed champions trying to make a push here through the west side through the small tower and we're going to see they're going to split off here. Two of them are going to go downing side to try to clear that as we see the rest pushed here through Showers Hall. Classic split take to clear this side of the map. And they're just going to be trying to ensure that no one is roaming. But as we can see, all of our buffed copper players are going to be holding on the site right now. And it's, it's very interesting. They're always running some sort of healer and they already have 200 HP. So I just feel so bad for these champions who are on 50 health trying to go against five people who are on 200 hp and they have a thunderbird i mean it's honestly a little bit ridiculous here but now the hatch is going to be opened up and we're going to see two big kills coming out from the zofias he's just completely dropped and is pushing inside a bunker and oh my god two more he's going for the ace right now and he he will actually grab it dropping through the i believe the e-box hatch that are going down the back tower stairs going to work out massively for the zofia and that round was a lot different than the first round we saw all right here we go we're gonna see our nerf champs doing a big tower push here and they're gonna have to be a little bit careful as rex is playing inside a big tower but he's gonna be taking a ton of damage now as all of the nerf champs are just going to be collapsing on his position and he's not going to be able to defend against all of those different champ players and wow another great shot from the zofia the dock player will go down playing on pillar and things are not looking up here for the coppers whatsoever they may have 200 hp but the crosshair placement is way too good here from our 
nerf champ players even with the pistols they're still able to get these clean headshots now we're going to see them rotating over trying to push through freezer potentially now the hatch is going to be soft here we're going to be hard breach catching that open i was almost like why didn't he buck it open but that's right they can't use their primary abilities or even their primary weapons right now so forced to use that secondary utility to open up that hatch and now we're going to see thorn rotate off of freezer as they're going to be pushed out Wow, we're actually going to have one of the coppers pick up a kill here. So, Knock is going to go down. And honestly, I don't know how much of an impact that's really going to take here. Is minute and 20, the champs still have plenty of time now. So we're going to be taking huge amounts of damage through the wall. And X-Cap is here on the Blackbeard to take him out now. Only two coppers are remaining in... Well, our nerf champs are collapsing on the site right now. Bird's going to be planting, and Sophia is going for their ninth kill right now on our last copper player inside a bunker, and he's going to get it with the one tap as well. So the co or the excuse me, the champions are going to lead two one on the split here. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, consider liking, subscribe. Make sure you guys have post notifications turned on, and if you guys have any other video suggestions for me if you'd like to see me record anything specific make sure you comment down below and let me know oh no we're gonna see the blitz come out from the buffed coppers here and they're all starting to gather outside of the big window so it looks like we're gonna see possibly a big window push here coming out from all of the coppers taking a look on site right now we've got most of the champs on site but only burr here to defend against the possible big window rush so hopefully some of the other champs start to rotate back now all right drones are going to come out now from the coppers they do have two minutes left but they're really not making very much progress on this window and they're certainly not going to be able to push in through it as we're going to see xk opening up the floor below so that he's able to stop anyone from hopping in and i'm sure they've got plenty of eyes on this big window right now so there's no way anyone's going to make it through just like that iana clone they're all going to get shot out Smoke grenades are going to come out from torture though, and a nade is going to miss from the sledge and almost team kill, but we're actually going to have Valkyrie get the kill onto the blitz all the way through the big window there. So nice shot by him. That's going to be the shield taken out for the coppers and only a minute and 15 seconds. They burnt a lot of time here on the big window and X caps going to grab another kill. So things are not looking up for the coppers whatsoever here. Sledge is going to rotate now towards bottom white and i think this is the right decision is if he's able to shoot through the floor he might be able to take out burr who's sitting on these holes right here as he is very low hp all he would have to do is start spamming the floor burr going to grab that kill on the torture though so gridlock is going to go down and iana is actually going to grab the kill into uh malusi though x cap refragging though and burr going for the swing but he'll also be taken out Another champ player going to swing out to the window. Vengeance goes down. And now Burr is crawling for safety. Trying to get back to X-Cap so that he's able to get revived. No grenades in the hands of Elay, So he will not be getting that confirmed kill. And Burr will be able to get revived. 15 Only 15 seconds left for the Iana player now. Stuck outside of the big window. Trying to pre-fire and get a kill. But he won't get one as Burr is able to finish him off now, and the champs are going to lead three to one. All right, X-Cap is gonna get team killed again. Unfortunate for him, so we're gonna have another 4v5 here. A 3v5 now, as Vengeance is gonna team kill again, so the champs are having a civil war right now. Vengeance is gonna be downed. It could be a 2v5 here, unless he is going to get revived, which it looks like he is going to, but they're gonna have to do it quick, as the coppers are already pushing in through bunker here, and oh no it's all up to valkyrie in the 1v5 is i guess the champs felt the need to nerf themselves even more but i think they did it a little bit too much as rex will come in from the tower stairs and take out the last remaining champ player so it looks like the champs are just playing with the coppers a little bit here all right rex is going to start the round off with a nice kill onto the cav player so 5v4 now in favor of the coppers already Rex is going to be doing his best to grab another kill, and he actually will do that. Burr goes down, but X-Cap will instantly refrag before Rex is able to get a third kill on the round, absolutely tearing the coppers or the champs apart right now. Blackbeard able to grab another kill as well, so that just leaves Vengeance alone in the 1v4, and he'll get taken out by Torture. So the champs are now 
in a 3-3 situation. We're going to overtime. All right, here we go. We're going to have Rehe trying to push in through satellite window right now. And Vengeance is actually just prone underneath it, but it doesn't matter. As Malusi is here to help him out, and he'll take out Rehe on the Ying there. Rex Trex inside of Garage now. This was our star player for the Coppers last round. He's playing extremely well for the Copper players. And he is going to be very close to seeing Cav, who is downstairs. Or excuse me, that was Malusi, who is downstairs right now. So we'll see if he's going to try to push that way. But it looks like for right now, he's going to be trying to push up through the main stairs on the east side of the map right now. And XCAP might be able to get a great kill here as there's two players repelled on this window. And he's going to grab the first one. Iana goes down. There is another player repelled. It's going to be Blackbeard. But he's actually going to pick up a great kill onto Burr. It's super unfortunate for these champ players. All the coppers have to do is hit them practically once, maybe twice, and they go down. And as you see, Rex Trex doing exactly that. Walking into sight, he grabs two big kills. He's going for the third. He's going to grab it. Unbelievable performance coming out from this copper player. Only one champ left. That's going to be X Cap, who's prone on the top of White Stairs. He hears that Rex is close and he'll swing, but X Cap is the one to win it. And oh no, a team kill coming out at the worst time as Blackbeard's going to put himself in a 1v1 situation, taking out his own teammate now. Flashbangs go out into Dorm's room, but that's only going to flash himself. X Cap's going to use his impacts to blow open that attic wall. And try to use it as a possible distraction here. Remember, X-Cap's only on about 50 HP. Blackbeard's on 200. And it's evident there as X-Cap's going to shoot him twice and barely do any damage to him. All Blackbeard has to do is hit one bullet here and X-Cap goes down. 45 seconds left. Is X-Cap going to win this? He can't get the headshot because of the Blackbeard shield. And we just saw it right there. It just saved him from the headshot. And here comes the swing from the Copper player. And that will be X-Cap going down. The Copper's now leading 4-3 to three on match point. One more round to go, and they win. All right, we're going to have Torture right now inside of Garage. Potentially trying to go for a spawn peek here. He's going to have Zofia outside the front door that he might have to deal with. But he's actually going to rotate over towards the games window and try to get a kill here through the window into attic right now we do have a couple of our copper players inside of attic that's going to be a lay on the valk rehe rotating out of there now into dorms to help rex in there and we're going to be seeing a lot of our champs now pushing over tower side but right now torture is going to be flanking he's going to grab one kill onto the iana but vengeance is going to immediately refrag Good refrag there by the champs, but Rex now going to be taking a ton of damage as fortunately he was on 200 HP or he would definitely be dead. LA going to grab another kill, so another one of our champs are going down. A miss C4 here. Hopefully LA does not blow himself up. And we need to see. There we go. Rex is going to get healed up by Rehe, so he's going to be trying to go for this tower flank and... Well, the dock when they have 200 HP is absolutely insane. And that pistol not working out whatsoever for X Cap. And down. The Ash is going to swing and he'll pick up that kill. And it sounds like he knows there's one flanking tower. He does. But the, the, the Cap gun has so much HP. The 200 HP really coming in handy there. Rex on about how much HP Vengeance had to start with that gunfight. He's going to rotate back in. And it looks like Rihi might be able to dock him back up to 200 HP again. But Zofia, our final champ player is trying to win this back and he's going to grab the first kill in this 1v3 rehe going to rotate into games room now realizing that the last remaining champ is pushing in games but the doc has so much hp four shots into the back only going to put him on about 50 hp rex with the c4 below but zofia pushes down and grabs that kill rehe back to full hp now 200 hp remember that Sophia still on about 50 or less trying to push in through white stairs here the observation block are going to make it difficult for him to drone the site out with only 25 seconds left he's really got to make a move here remember he's not able to use his primary gadget whatsoever so 20 seconds left he's got to find this kill and the doc has 200 hp and here comes the swing but Sophia will find the headshot leading his team 13 and 5 a huge clutch well played to caspio all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. 4-4 match point here with their nerfed champions versus our buffed coppers here. Here comes the C4 from XCAP. He's going to blow that up, and it will do a ton of damage to Torture on the ace. But fortunately, the 200 HP is going to come in clutch right there, and he's still going to have 
a little bit of HP to work with here. Rex, one of our best copper players so far in the game, is going to get taken out early as Malusi flanks him on the main stairs. Not a good start for the coppers whatsoever here. The champs are definitely wanting to win this round. Diffuser is also going to be down right now inside of lobby and it looks like Malusi might be trying to set up to hold this as we see a, a few of our champs now rotating over towards the main stairs to potentially help him hold down the diffuser. Two minutes left and it looks like a lot of our coppers are still trying to push in through bunker but listen even if they get this they don't have the diffuser so really is it even worth it. Now Blackbeard going to be proning out of the door to escape Xcap who's on the valkyrie right now and it looks like xcap doesn't realize that he actually rotated out through this door this could be a kill here for the blackbeard but missed opportunity is xcap's able to make it by without taking any damage our champ still trying to hold down the diffuser here in garage and a minute and 30 seconds left our copper players have really not made much progress towards the diffuser although rihi is now inside of blue tarps so he's going to be trying to flank in through there but x cap from the back stairs will take him out great kill by x cap now minute and 15 seconds left torture and blackbeard are inside of bunker right now all three of our copper players actually inside of bunker we'll see if it's going to be enough to take the site here x cap going to rotate from the back stairs and push up on the blue tarps door malusi grabs a kill onto la so iana goes down only two players remaining for the coppers it's not looking good whatsoever but remember the coppers really only have to shoot the champs once or twice and they are going to go down but x cap's going to grab that headshot on the torture so that's all up to blackbeard in the 1v5 he gets the first kill on x cap now he's looking for the second we're going to see I believe that's Ella proning through the the ace floor holes, or Malusi actually proning through the ace floor holes will take down Blackbeard. And ladies and gentlemen, the nerfed champs are actually going to take it just barely by one round. So make sure you guys follow them with their socials linked down below. If you guys made it this far in the video, make sure you guys have liked the video, subscribe, turn post notifications on. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.